Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and we humans are very interesting creatures. We have our strong sides, we have our weak sides and one of our weak sides, yes, I really do call this a weak side, is that we like to think that things with the higher number at the end, sometimes in the front of the name, are better than the things with the lower number. Because, for example, everybody knows that the D-Shot 600 is twice better than the D-Shot 300. Why? Because 600 is 300 times 2. And taking the same path, of course, the D-Shot 300 has to be twice as good as the D-Shot 150. And don't even get me started how better D-Shot is comparing to, for example, multi-shot or one-shot. Um, I'm not negating that you might, in the black box traces, for example, you might see a difference, that you can feel the difference behind the sticks if you, for example, compare D-Shot 150 to D-Shot 600 or even 1200. But does it really make much difference when flying quad with, for example, one shot 125 comparing to the D-Shot 600? I don't know. Um, I really don't know, so I decided to check. And I decided to check, and um, I cannot do blind tests because I'm alone over here. I decided to check, and today we're gonna do the pseudoscience. The pseudoscience will be as follows. I will use my quad, this quad, over here, and fly this quad with this shot 600, this shot 300, this shot 100, uh, 50 multi shot and one shot 125 and finally the legacy PWM and I will try to observe is if there is any visible if there is any any practical difference I could sense just by switching one generation theoretically slower protocol but to be honest multi shot is not slower than the D-Shot, uh, in the flight performance. The quad is configured without any RPM filtering, without any use for ASC telemetry, so we will have exactly the same filters, we will have exactly the same PIDs and all the mechanics in all every single flight. The only difference between flights will be the ESC protocol. D-Shot 600, 300, 150, multi-shot, 100, one-shot, 125 and the traditional PWM, which I know flies like crap. So, without further ado, let's set up the camera, let's set up the quad and let's compare. Oh, by the way, I will be publishing only the DVR footage and because it's usually extremely hard to notice those subtle differences between between flights only on the uh, DVR or even HD footage someone then you will have to trust my commentary um, so you will have to trust my feeling of how quad behaves and if there is a degradation of the performance I can notice. So, let's go. Okay, everything is ready. Let's try D shot 600. As you can see in the DVR footage, everything is less superb. The quad is flying exactly like it's supposed to be flying. It's pretty smooth. Very little prop wash, maybe some, but it's not something that we have to really worry about. And handles in the corners just wonderful. Numbers of problems? Zero. But after all, I'm flying with exactly this configuration for like a few months, so it has to be working perfectly. Okay, this was D-Shot 600, let's land, switch to D-Shot 300 and let's try again. Okay, attempt number two, right now with D-Shot 300. So far so good, absolutely. I cannot feel any differences between D-Shot 300 and 600. 
let's check the prop wash basically exactly the same situation everything is smooth everything is just fine quad is still very much controllable in the air does everything i wanted to do just great just fine so maybe well there is a difference in the motor updates between the shot 300 and 600 but during the normal flight with my let's say average skills i'm not even saying that i'm a very good pilot everything is just fine no difference i can feel during the flight let's land and try d shot 150. attempt number three this time with d shot 150. so far so good maybe maybe it's slightly softer than the d shot 600 but if even then hmm, it's really hard to say that there is any difference in handling okay the battery is not fresh because it already flew two different protocols but still quad behaves exactly like i want it to behave there are no problems no any additional oscillation no prop wash or at least not a bigger prop wash than previously so we can safely assume at least i can safely assume that there is no difference between d shot 600 300 and 150 in the normal flight next test this time with the multi-shot protocol as you can see in the dvr footage the esc telemetry temperature is blinking because there is no telemetry so let's arm and let's fly quad still feels pretty nice pretty well well exactly the same like before i cannot feel any difference again prop wash let's chest the prop wash no prop wash um maybe even the prop wash is slightly lower than with the d-shots uh, because this is something that not everybody knows but actually multi-shot has the faster update rate than the d-shot 600 but once again this is only like hmm, a feeling and in flight everything is 100 percent great there are no problems so if i would have to compare the performance of the multi-shot versus the d-shot uh, it's exactly the same in practical means there is no difference that i can feel during the flight so let's land and let's switch to the one shot 125 let's go back four years and no five actually and let's try one shot 125 flight is smooth again everything works just fine although the one shot 125 is at least a few times slower than the multi shot and what flight is smooth quad does everything i wanted to do maybe it's like more gentle maybe it's slightly smoother but maybe it's only because it's uh, slightly later and the sun is lower so the camera is using uh, slightly longer times to record but besides that everything is once again fine uh, so it flies with one shot 125 as well 
but it was flying with all the D-Shot protocols. Of course, minus the telemetry, minus the possibility to run the RPM filters, but besides that... Yeah, whoa, oh, okay, this camera unfortunately is slowly dying. Uh, but in-flight performance... Absolutely. Absolutely. No problem. So um, let's land and now let's go to the standard PWM protocol. And uh, I know what will happen, but you will have to watch it by yourself. Okay, ready? It's time for the standard PWM protocol that is updated only 490 times per second. And look what happens. Ah, you saw that? You saw that oscillation? And I also can hear that the motors definitely are not behaving like they should be behaving. There is an oscillation during almost every harder maneuver. And indeed, motors are definitely not working like they should be. They are just changing RPM slightly too fast with too much of the delay. And... Uh, Proposh? Yeah, no. Proposh is awful at the standard PWM. So, this is the first protocol I tested today that really showed some negative symptoms. As long as I was going from the D-Shot to the Multi-Shot to the One-Shot 125, there was almost no difference as soon as I configured to use with the standard PWM the negative ah again Pr very oh very nasty oscillation but on a level more or less level flight on a straight line behaves kind of nice roll with slow stop kind of nice something slightly more energetic and it vibrates during the maneuver. Okay, I will not be flying standard PWN because that kind of makes no sense. So, uh, and now it's time for the summary. So, are you surprised? Because I really was not that much surprised. Uh, during the test I have had over here with uh, exactly the same quad, exactly the same configuration and between different flights I was only changing the ESC protocol. Uh, there was no difference in flight. I could feel something like I know, okay, now something changed between D-Shot 600, 300, 150, multi-shot and one shot 120. The only difference and the only negative aspects of using the slower ESC protocol started to manifest themselves when I switched from the one shot to the standard PWM which is updated only 420 no 490 times per second. So you can easily use almost whatever you want and you will probably if you are not really like a super pro pilot and i'm not a super pro pilot you will feel almost no difference okay of course like i mentioned in the beginning yes the one shot has the advantage of being able to work with the esc telemetry so you know the rpm you can run the rpm filters you know the temperature of the of the esc so yes those are perks that come with the d-shot protocol but even choosing the slowest 100 50 D-Shot protocol makes your quad fly as great as it was flying before. Why? It's called physics. It's called the inertia. Yes, in theory faster is better, but when the motors cannot really accelerate, decelerate faster than the update rate, you will feel no difference in the air. I'd like to thank all my patrons on the Patreons for allowing me to record those videos and test those things that nobody else wants to test right now. So thank you very much my patrons. If you would like to become my patron, the link to my patron page is in the description. I would really appreciate if you could support me slightly in my fight toward 
slightly maybe even mid busting some of the myths in the FPV hobby. Okay, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.